Hello, hello, and welcome to another Rangaroos unit of the week. And today, we are taking a look at the Morris LRC OP available to the Commando Brigade. It's going to be rather short, as there uh, isn't much to say. The British converted some landing craft carriers, usually their Mark II and Mark III models, that could carry tanks and fitted them to carry an absolute crap ton of rockets. Some of these landing craft could shoot up to 1,000 rockets. Which is an awful lot, and they use all varying different types of running game at 127 millimeters. The whole idea is you shoot a barrage at a beachhead before you're about to land, the enemy get completely stunned up and shock and awe because you got shot by a thousand rockets, that wouldn't exactly do your morning, and then the beach lands and lands and cleans up the job. They used some of these during the Sicily landings, but the vast majority, of course, were used during Normandy. In-game, the Morris LRC OP is available in one card, in one singular unit, during B phase for 200 points. And the Morris itself is pretty uninteresting. It's just a small armored car with a rather lackluster machine gun. So let's take a look at the rockets it fires. So the off-map it calls in is of course an LCTR that last stand in for rocket. It has 127mm rocket, shoots at 35 rounds a minute, so that is a lie, I'll get back to that. 30 HE, 960 ammunition, and 20 AOE damage. I'm not entirely sure that the HE value is correct, but you could correct me on that if you're wrong. I don't think a 127mm rocket would do that much boom, it seems more on the 25 range. But the main thing is that the rate of fire is a complete and utter lie, because if this thing only shot at 35 rockets a minute, it would take 27 to 28 minutes to finish a full barrage, where in actuality it shoots more 160 rockets per minute. So in battle, the Morris LRCOP is a rather interesting unit. I understand it's controversy being added into the game because we already have some rather annoying off-map artillery pieces and of course there's a whole discussion of whether off-map is really a fun mechanic. But in terms of the Morris LRC OP, the question is, is it OP? Because if you look at it from a complete unit standpoint, it calls in 960 rockets over a very large area it can do an awful lot of damage. And also I didn't mention this, but it takes roughly 6 minutes, 5-6 minutes, to finish a full barrage. And that's that's a long time for an off-map artillery piece to continue its fire. And because the area is so large, you can shut off one third of a 1v1 map. So just by the sound of it, that seems completely and utterly ridiculously overpowered. And I would agree with you in that sense. But in the context of the commando deck, this is a pretty balanced unit all the outer side. Because as a commando deck, number one, you only get 80 points a tick in B phase. So you have to wait roughly three minutes to save up for run of these things. Number two, you only got one shot, you can't blow it. If this thing gets blown up or you miss your shot, that's it. You don't get another. You literally only have one chance to call in the off-map barrage. And number three is... Well, Commando B phase is completely and utterly terrible. You don't even get a single AT gun till you get to phase C. So this is extremely important for the Commando deck, as this is pretty much your lifeline in the getting through B phase, especially during run V runs, because you just don't have really anything to help you defend, and you don't have an economy to do much either. So having a unit that can shut down a third or half of the map for five minutes so you could buy some time to get you into C phase is vitally, vitally, vitally important for the commando deck in general. It's an interesting unit because by itself and just looking at it and being on the receiving end of it is annoying as hell. I mean, it is a very powerful rocket artillery piece as you can see in the clip right now. But in the complete context of the Commando deck and realising that this is pretty much their only trump card to get them through B phase, it's not that bad. It's definitely a highly recommendable unit just because it buys you time to get to C. And uh, 
yeah, it's it's interesting. I'm still a little bit muddled around the thought of the Morris because off map artillery can be rather annoying, especially the naval and 380 millimeter train guns. But this is an interesting unit. It's definitely a rather big game changer. And I'm going to stop rambling and leave it. Yeah, this has been another Rang Rouge unit of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.